Hey everybody, Gabe Briscoe. So I've been driving a boat since I was 12 years old recreationally. Started driving professionally at 20. I average about a thousand hours a year on a boat. So I'd like to spend today showing you some tricks of the trade, driving a pontoon boat. We got a little bit of a wind today coming out of the north. So I'm gonna show you at my dock, which is gonna give us three options. So we'll pan over to the dock for a second. And if you look at the dock here, you got three opportunities right here. You've got the wind coming in from the north, which will be the left side of the dock, what you're looking at now. Directly on is a little bit of a crosswind, and the dock to the far right will be a wind blowing you away from the dock. So I'm gonna put you in some situations to show you how to make it easier. I really like to make sure that you can do this by yourself. Um, you, you know, when you have a second hand, it makes it way easier, but a lot of times you're by yourself in a boat, and I'm gonna show you how to make it easier to do that. First one I'm gonna show you, and you'll see this on every video you watch online, is they always suggest that you dock with the wind. Obviously, if you dock with the wind, the wind's gonna help push you into the dock. The other thing you're looking for, too, is docks that have posts on the outside. If you look at the way my dock is, every post on the dock is on the outside, so it'll hit the rub rail of your boat. Now, if you pan to my neighbor's dock over here, that one's got posts on the outside on where the jet skis are. On the other side of the dock, it doesn't. And you look at my neighbor on the other side, his dock, all the boards are on the outside, the posts are on the inside. You pull up to that dock and any wave is gonna bounce and dent your boat or the wood's gonna get caught on top. So you're always looking for posts on the outside of the boat. So as we approach a dock, you'll see on all the other videos, you always wanna be 45 degrees. And the reason you want the 45 degrees is so that when you put it in reverse and turn your motor into the dock, it'll help pull you in. So right now I'm coming in at a very slow idle I've got the wind helping, pushing me right now into the dock, so I've got to adjust for that as I'm driving. I want to put it in neutral, drift, and now give it a little bit of reverse, just to keep my front of my boat touching that post, okay? As it touches, now I can turn the wheel in to pull the back of the boat right into the dock. You never want to get up and leave the throttle. Always keep the throttle in your hand until you can grab the post. Once you've got a hold of the post, then you can go tie. Never shut off your motor until your boat is tied. Huge mistake if you don't. I've seen guys that shut off the boat, they get up, they go walk, the wind catches them in a weird way and the boat drifts away and then you're screwed, okay? So never shut off the boat. So you're on the dock, you got at least one rope on. All right, next video. The one thing you'll notice whenever you're docking a boat with wind is pontoons are like a sail. When the wind catches these things, it's not like a ski boat or something that the wind is going to pass through. The wind catches these and it moves it quite a bit. So we just docked with the wind. I'm going to show you a trick of getting away from the dock without having to push off. Okay? So right now we're against the dock and I'm tight. I'm not going to push off at all. I'm going to take the wheel and I'm going to turn it into the dock, which is going to make my motor do this and bring the back of the boat away. So I turn the wheel all the way to the right. I'm going to put it in gear, neutral. Put it in gear neutral. And if you'll notice, I've already separated the back of the boat from the dock. Now I can pull the motor away from the dock. And that is gonna, that's gonna drag the nose or, away with it, okay? Always wanting to put your motor in the deepest water possible. Cool little trick, huh? So now I'm gonna show you docking on the passenger side. This pontoon boat just happens to have the only access door in and out on the passenger side of the boat. Now obviously it's always easier to dock on the driver's side because you don't have to leave your seat to be able to grab the dock or to grab a post. But when you are on that side, let me show you a little trick on that. So I'm gonna take the boat this time. We've got kind of a tail crosswind now. So the boat's blowing me from behind, okay? So I'm gonna take that front corner and I'm gonna, if you, we look at the dock here that I'm coming into, I'm aiming for the very end post. That means if I blow it, I'm not gonna hit the dock going to drift by it. So I'm going to try to put that front left corner, the port corner of the boat, as close to that post as I can. Okay? Bring it in. I'm in and out of neutral. In and out of neutral. Now I'm going to touch reverse to stop the boat. Okay? Now as soon as I can stop it, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to grab the post. All right? Now, if the wind is coming directly from here, it's gonna start blowing my boat out like that. So let me put you in that situation. Let's say that I just docked this boat and the wind is gonna catch me and start drifting the boat. I'm gonna take this rope, my boat's trying to swing around right now. 
I'm gonna tie it to this post. Okay? Now that front of that boat, I'm tied tight to the post. The boat's gonna keep drifting this way. How do I get the back in? All I gotta do in this situation, probably get back in the boat, unless you get a ridiculous wind. And I'm gonna get back in, and I'm just gonna put the boat in reverse, and I'm gonna turn the motor back into the dock. The rope's gonna come tight. Rope's tight there. Now if I just give it a little bit of gas, watch as the boat swings right into the dock. Even if your wind is blowing, the rope's gonna hold you and you can suck the boat right around. Okay, once you're tight to the dock, you can leave it in reverse. I'm tied up to the dock, I can leave it in reverse, I can go out and I can tie the back of the boat now, once it's tied, I can come back and shut down the motor. That's another cool trick that you can do by yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say you're in a situation that you're picking somebody up at the dock and you don't want to tie it up, you just want to pick them up and keep going. Especially if you've got dogs or you've got maybe older people that aren't steady on their feet, you're picking them up. This is a great trick. I use this all the time. I probably, every time I'm in a pontoon, I use this at least once. I call it pinning the boat, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I've got a door on the front of the pontoon, which most pontoons do. I'm gonna approach the dock dead on square with the front of the boat. Now, because it's a pontoon, you've got two pontoons coming up out of the front of the boat, or you've got a flat piece in the front of the boat in between the two pontoons. Maybe you have a tri tune and you'll have three pontoons sticking up. If you're pulling up to a wood dock, you can put that metal right against the dock. Now it is probably gonna leave a little bit of a crease in your dock. I don't mind it, this is my dock. You should probably always check with the homeowner if they mind if you pin the dock. And I'll show you after, it's, it doesn't leave much of a mark at all. But if you aim for the post in the middle of the boat, then the, the middle of the boat will catch, especially if it's, a, if it's just a two pontoon boat, whereas a tri-tune you'll have all three sticking out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna approach the dock, I'm coming into a headwind right now, and I'm gonna aim kind of the edge of the, the left-hand edge of the door for the post. And I'm gonna just go in and out of here. I'm, the wind is in my favor right now, right? Because the wind is pushing me away from the dock. So it's gonna keep me from coming in too fast. I'm in and out of here, you can see with the throttle. And when I get close to the boat, I'm just gonna try to softly touch the boat. So right there, it touches. And as soon as it touches, I wanna put the boat in gear. Now when I'm in gear, I can actually use my steering to straighten out the boat, okay? See how I steer to the right? It brings the boat back to the right because I have the wind kind of coming at this angle. So once I, I know that the boat's straight, I leave the boat in gear. Now I'm pinned to the dock. The boat is pushing against the dock. So it can't go anywhere. So now when you're gonna load somebody up, Layla, come on girl. You open the door, you're pinned, and there comes your passenger. Simple, huh? Okay, so the toughest parking always is against the wind. So I get the wind blowing at me right now, and I wanna to try to put the boat against the dock there. It's better to park that way, honestly, because once you're tied up, the wind's gonna keep the boat away from the dock, which keeps it from pounding the dock. But docking by yourself is always difficult. So we're gonna do a similar scenario where I'm just gonna concentrate on the nose of the bow, getting it to where I wanna be. Once the nose is there and I'm tied, I know I can step back on the boat and I can pull the back in. So it's gonna be the same approach, right? I'm gonna take it at a 45 degree angle. And if you watch my throttle as well, like I'm not giving a lot of gas, and I'm gonna use neutral a lot. So right now I'm trying to go by this end post. Okay, if you don't, if you have a long dock, then you can come up a little bit less angle. But you can see already the boat's trying to push me away. The wind is trying to push me away right here. So what I'm gonna do in this situation is I'm gonna bring it around until I can grab this post. Okay? Now I'm in a position I can grab. I can work the boat now to the back. Play in the wind right now. I got my rope ready to go. I come around this post. Now I know I'm locked. Okay, I like to keep the front of the boat. If you see, I got the front of the boat in front of the post. That way I can use that post as a pivot. So I'm gonna tie the boat up here, a couple half inches to hold it. And now the wind is blowing me straight back. I still gotta get that end back into the boat. So all I gotta do, come back to the driver's seat, I'm tied. 
I put the boat in reverse and I turn the wheel all the way to the right so I'm bringing the back of the boat in. Give it a little bit of gas. And that's gonna suck me right into the post. Okay, now, sometimes you don't have posts. Sometimes you just have cleats on the dock. So it works the same way. If I was, if I have the wind blowing and I've got a long straight dock, I can do that pin version, pin the front of the boat, it's high up the side that I'm gonna wrap around, get back on the boat, and then pull my boat back into the position that I need. Those are some tricks that I think is gonna make it a lot more fun for you driving the boat a lot easier and it's gonna make you look like a pro. I'm gonna show you a couple other things on the chain. We're gonna hit a couple restaurants and I'll put you in a couple more situations. So here's a situation where there's no post. It's a buddy of mine's dock. If I was gonna come up and park at the end of this dock, there's a couple things I'd have to do. First of all, the posts are not on the outside. Posts are on the inside. So you got a two by six outside the post that sticks out and then you got decking sticking out beyond that. That's all stuff that can catch on the side of my boat, bounce up and down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is need fenders or bumpets if you're from New Hampshire. So what I'd do in this situation is I would probably use the pin situation to get everybody off the boat and I would pin on the front left corner so I can get my rope to that post. Once it's there, I'd put my fenders out. I can either let the wind just let me drift in or I can back it around to the back post and get myself in there. Uh, if I was dropping people off in this situation, I would probably park on the passenger side since my door's on the port side. And I would do just the opposite. I'd bring that, I'd still pin it, but I'd bring my rope to the front post over here and then back myself around with the fenders on that side. And you're gonna need two fenders in that situation. Otherwise your boat's gonna get caught on that wood sticking out. All right? So I don't know what it's like where you guys boat, but I gotta go under a lot of bridges. And we use the Bimini a lot because I live in Florida and it gets hot. So this is another little trick I learned along the way. Depending on how your Bimini's set up, some of them have stiff arms both front and back. If you are in a situation or you can change your situation to have a strap in the front and a strong post in the back, I highly recommend it. The strong post is good because if you do have a strong wind, it's not gonna collapse the Bimini and the strap will be sufficient for the air pressure on the front. But if you're going under bridges a lot and you're by yourself, this is a, a way easier way to do it. So I'm an advocate of not getting out of my seat much. So what I would do in this situation is when I got into the canal, I would unhook the other side. And all I'm gonna do is pull down the bim and tension, undo the post on this side so this side's free. Now all I got is the side on the driver is that I can reach from my seat. And maybe you can't reach it from your seat. If you can though, set yourself up for that. So now I'd be coming up and you can see the bridge right here in front of me then I gotta go one. Okay, there's no way that my Bimini is gonna fit under that bridge. So I get myself close enough, I come back and I undo the back pin, and now I have nothing holding the Bimini, okay? All I gotta do now at this point is stand up, I still got my steering wheel, I grab the Bimini, and I have two bows here in the middle. I wanna make sure those bows clear each other. So as I come down, I push the first bow forward, and I lift this one up, and it can drop right here. Now I'm on my front of my seat, I can sit back down, I can clear my bridge. She's tight, whoa, she's tight. Once I clear the bridge, I can now grab this arm right here. I've still got my two straps holding and I can from my driver's seat, pull this Jiminy completely back up and I can clip it all for my driver's seat. And now I'm good to go for the next bridge. Another good trick. So here's another spot that I like to use a lot. Now this is a canal that we're in. And if you look at the wall right here, it's all metal wall and there's bolts sticking out of it. So if I try to pull up sideways to that, I'm gonna scratch up my boat. I'm never gonna be able to do it by myself. So I'm gonna use the pinning method here again. Now the reason I'm stopping here is this is city property. And this is an open field. It's a great place for the dog to have it be. And this is our spot that she knows it. She knows that we stop here a lot. I got plenty of room behind me so that when I pin the boat, boats can still get by. And I'm gonna softly bring my pontoon up so I don't dent the canal or dent my boat. And I wanna just barely touch it to the canal. Once it touches, I keep it in gear. Make sure my boat's straight. And now I can open the door. And let the dog go pee. And while she's peeing, I just leave the door open and I control the boat. 
I do have a wind coming right now. The wind's coming right down the canal. So, the wind, oh, she's peeing right off the bat. What a smart dog. So the wind's blowing me down the canal, so I have to counter that with my steering a little bit just to hold the boat straight. And then as soon as she's done, I'll back into the canal. Again, always back into deep water to get my boat away from the wall until I can get the position so I can continue down the canal. There you have it, another little trick. Layla, come on, load up. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that video helped you guys out. I hope it's gonna make your fun time in the water more enjoyable. I'm gonna go have something to eat now. We're at Idle Zone on the Chain of Lakes. We're gonna go check it out and go have a good time. If you like it, hit subscribe. Please tell all your friends about it. I'm gonna keep making these videos to help you enjoy your time in the water a little bit more. Dave Briscoe, out.